Today I thought I'd talk to you about how to keep warm in a caravan in winter. <laughs> So first off though, this is a UK caravan and so it's designed for cooler countries so it's got the double glazed windows and insulation. That actually makes a huge difference. This space when it gets warm is really great. It's, it's like t-shirt weather. <laughs> like, and it's also a small space so it's quite quick to heat up. So for the last couple of years I've been using this heater. It's a Truma. It runs on gas and electric and it's been okay, it's been fine. Personally I like it when it's running on electric but I have to be plugged in and I, I don't plug in often now but I find when it's running on electric it takes a while to heat up but it gets to a nice background temperature where I can kind of forget about it but I find when I'm running on gas I don't know whether it has that kind of smell to it and I get a bit paranoid with being in a small space so I have the window open and it gets it gets quite hot running on gas too hot in a way but gas has really been my only option recently because I don't really plug in anymore I just run on solar panel and I use my gas so the gas hasn't actually been working for me recently it's a little bit annoying with winter starting I've got some theories I had this professionally cleaned by a gas specialist about four months ago and it was working then. Um, I don't have, I know some of them have uh, AA batteries fitted behind here for the igniter. Mine doesn't have that, it seems to be wired directly into the batteries. Then I thought maybe I knocked something when I've been cleaning it. So that's one theory. Or looking online it does sound like the igniter is the part that seems to play up quite a bit so I could possibly get a new igniter and see if that helps. But some other ways I've been keeping warm is just using my oven, using my stove top, it actually makes a difference. A couple of times I've forgotten to turn this off when I've finished cooking and I've wondered why the caravan's so toasty warm. So you know an oven in a way is a heater. I love my cups of tea so I've found I'll boil the jug that'll heat up the space a little bit and by just having some hot water in this kettle it just radiates heat a little bit so that's one cheat way heat up some water in a kettle and just leave it there it becomes a little a little heater in its own way and then an oldie but a goodie a hot water bottle it does actually make a huge difference we call it a hottie in New Zealand <laughs> and yeah, it has actually motivated me to go to bed a little bit earlier than I normally would just because the bed has been the warmest spot in the caravan lately. And then, you know, you just have more blankets on the bed, a throw in the lounge, all these amazing socks. They're actually super warm. These are from a knitting company uh, in Norsewood, which is just north of Masterton. There is an NZMCA deal, so if you do pop that way, ask them. I love these socks, they're super warm. And something I've just stumbled across, your hot water cylinder, if it's on, it will heat that area around it. So mine's found under the bed, and I have found it heats the, the storage space under the bed and heats the bed a little bit more. It has actually made a difference. So another idea that's just been suggested to me lately is just using an electric blanket. So I thought I'd try it out, got this out of storage. I've currently got it set on both sides and plugged it into my inverter. And I'm going to do a little test. I'm going to see how much power this actually takes. It's on number three on both sides. So if my electric blanket is set on its maximum, it seems to be drawing about 8.5, 8.6 amps. That's interesting. If the electric blanket's on its lower setting, number one, on both sides, it drops all the way to about 1.4 amps. Now for a comparison, I want to now turn on my laptop, which I find is my biggest power drawer, and just compare how much my laptop draws when it's on. Oh wow, okay. My laptop 
fluctuate. Sometimes it's minus two, sometimes it's up to around six amps. So I've just been playing around with the settings on the electric blanket. So if I have the electric blanket on one side is on number two only and the other side's turned off, then it only draws 1.7. That's probably a little more reasonable. If I have it on for a couple of hours, three hours a night, I wonder how much it draws. That's down to 1.5 amps now. So that might be the way for me to kind of handle the really cold nights while my heat is not working. <laughs> Another option I have heard about is you can apparently get these throws that you plug into a cigarette lighter and they act like a little electric blanket. I don't know a huge amount about them. I almost feel like they've been designed more for van life, but if you've tried them out, let me know. What do you think? Having a chat with other RVers in New Zealand, it does sound like the most popular type of heating at the moment is a diesel heater. So they sound like the good quality ones are around two grand. I have been hearing of people getting Chinese versions for $300, $400, but I've also heard stories where they break quite easily. It's been good. I've heard really good things about them at the moment. They're, they seem to be the most popular heater right now. If I swap to a diesel heater, I don't know how you would set it up in my caravan. But maybe that's something that I need to think about for next winter. Maybe I should change to a diesel heater. Particularly if I can't get my heater working. So I've been getting by, but it hasn't exactly been that enjoyable. <laughs> If my heater was working, it would be a whole lot better. But this electric blanket might be my my new <laughs> my new plan. I just might live in bed this whole winter. <laughs> so what about you? Do you live in an RV? How do you keep warm? What what are your suggestions? Do you have any other tips for keeping warm? 